Hi, I'm Ranjit. Uh, I'm a design computing student at the University of Washington. And in this video, I'll be explaining how to use the Objectify plugin for Grasshopper. So I have these two pieces of geometry and this text, and I want to combine them into an object. So what's an object? You can think of, uh, you can think of an object as a, a group of different pieces of data, but each member in the group has a specific name that you decide and you can do whatever you want with that group. In the end, you can uh, retrieve individual members in the group by the name that you provided at the beginning when you created the group. So when you install Objectify plugin for Grasshopper, it comes with three components. Uh, first, let's talk about the Objectify component. So there is our Objectify component. And I want to combine these three pieces of data into a into an object. So I'll start with this polyline. Let me go ahead and turn off the preview for this. And I'll plug this uh, polyline component into my objectify component. So this is the first member in my object. And I want to give a proper name to this member. So I'll click on, uh, I'll right click on the parameter into which I'm inputting the polyline. And I'll edit the nickname. Uh, let's call it my polyline. Now, the Objectify component implements zoomable user interface. So if you zoom in real close, you'll see these plus buttons pop up. So you can add a new member. So I want to plug in this plane into the, uh, as, uh, into the Objectify component as a second member of my object. So we plug that in. Now our object has two pieces of geometry in it. So let's change the name to my plane. Now let me go ahead and add another member. In this, I'll I'll just store some text. So there's my object with three members. So now I can do whatever I want with my object. So let's say, you know, I, I want to move the object. So I have now have two copies of my object, the original and the one that's translated along the z-axis. So, okay, now I'll talk about the second component that comes with the Objectify plugin for Grasshopper. It's called Object Member. So there's our component. This component can be used to retrieve one member of our group by the name. So all I have to do is take the object and plug it into the object member component. So for a second, if I turn off the preview for our object, you can see that this component is outputting the polyline, which was a member of our object. So by default, it's outputting the first member of the object. But if I want to retrieve other members, I can right click on the parameter and it'll show me all the members that are stored inside that object. So as you can see here, it's telling us that our object has three members, my polyline, my plane, and my text. So if I click on my plane, you can see here on the left, now this object member component is outputting the plane. If I select my text, the plane disappeared in the Rhino window and this component is actually outputting the text. So, okay, let's switch back to my polyline. Okay, now we're outputting the polyline. And so let's plug in two objects into our object member component. So I'm gonna hold down shift and plug in the moved object, the trans object that's translated along the Z axis into the object member. You can see now we have two polyline curves. So these are polyline curves extracted from both objects. So this way you can uh, store data in objects which are essentially named groups. Uh, this is inspired from how objects are used in a, in a programming language. And I felt that it, it would be convenient for Grasshopper users to have a functionality that's similar to that. 
Now, uh, let me go ahead and turn off the preview for the these two and turn on the preview for our original object. Okay, now, now I'll talk about the third component that comes with the Objectify Grasshopper plugin. It's called Mutate Object. So sometimes you want to uh, edit an object by changing one of the members, by changing the data stored in one of the members, but you don't really want to create the object again for, by adding all the members. So what you can do is use this component to change just one member. So you plug the object into the first parameter and it'll show you all the different members. Uh, now, the second parameter of the this component is the new value that you want that member to have. So in this case, I'm going to edit the text and let's have a second piece of text. This is the other text. And now I'll plug this into the second parameter of the component. So what we essentially did is we took this object and we mutated it by editing one of the members, editing the value stored in one of the members. So my text now doesn't have that. This is my text. It doesn't have that, but it has this piece of string. You can verify that by plugging in the output. Okay, we plugged in the entire object. We don't want to do that. We want an object member. So this is the other text. So this mutates the object, but this doesn't change the original object. This is a mutated copy of the original object. Our original object still has the same piece of text. So if I plug that in, so uh, both copies of our original objects have the original text still. This mutated copy on the other hand has, sorry, uh, new text. So that's how uh, you use the three components that come with this plugin. So I have another uh, example prepared here. So this is a cluster which has the logic for creating a truss. So we take the length number of panels, trim, which is the difference between the length of the top cord and the bottom cord and the depth, which is the distance between the two cords, top and bottom. We take these four parameters as input and we essentially create this uh, truss, nothing fancy here, just a standard simple definition. But instead of outputting all the geometry, say as a list or a group, I'm outputting an object and I'm actually giving names to each of these members. So top card, bottom card and web have the piped surfaces of top card and bottom card and, and web is the stuff in between the top and the bottom cords. So it has piped surfaces uh, and top card WF, bottom cord WF and web WF have the actual lines which are being piped. So this object has six members, all geometry, first three are surfaces and the last three are uh, lines. So I'm outputting that object. Now, if we go outside of our cluster, uh, so here I'm arraying, uh, creating a linear array of trusses. So maybe it could be for like a roof. And then I can later extract individual members. Sorry. Uh, so if I turn off the preview of uh, these, the cord, the, the truss array. So you can see here, these are the lines for the top cords of, of all the three, three trusses. So I can use these top cords, say, to create the roof, or I can continue using this geometry for other things after I've created the truss. And you can also do that without using Objectify, but Objectify makes it easier to manage all the data with, with names that you can read 
and it makes your grasshopper definitions cleaner. You don't have like connections that go from the beginning of, of your definition all the way to the end that that can get confusing and, and messy. You can avoid that using Objectify and uh, you can avoid you know complicated list indexing and list slicing. Um, those are unnecessary uh, if you can just give the members of your object a name. Uh, yeah, so this is essentially essentially a plugin to make organizing your data in organizing the data and geometry in your definition easier. Uh, the the link to for, for downloading the Objectify uh, plugin will be in the description. You can download it, install it, and, and try it for yourself. And hope you like it. Thank you for watching the video.